Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today we're gonna be making a majestic sword in Blender. So uh, I don't really know how many parts this is gonna be. So we'll just, uh, you know, keep going until we're done. So this is just the way I model this specific uh, sword. I'm not sure if you can model other swords the same way, but this is just the way I do it for this one. So let's go ahead and get right into it here. So we're going to start out with this cube here, so press tab to go into edit mode. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to press control R, and we're going to left click, and usually if you wanted it to go uh, snap to the center, you would middle mouse click, but they changed it, now you have to right click. Yeah, okay, so now let's deselect that, and box select this left half by pressing B and dragging over. Press X to delete the vertices, let's go over to our modifier uh, stack here. Uh, or the tab and we're gonna add a mirror modifier and we're gonna add clipping okay so uh, let's go ahead and move the, this camera and uh, lamp to another layer so let's select both press M2 to move it to the second layer okay so now let's go ahead and start so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select this bottom face here and we're gonna oh, uh, sorry <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and press E and then we're going to right click to cancel out the selection and then press S to scale it down just about there now we're just going to extrude about three times one two and three and that's good if we need any more we'll do it later now we're going to ext uh, extrude the blade portion so we're going to select this top face here press E to extrude and we're going to right click to cancel that out and press S until we get it nice and thin there. We can always thin out later if we want. And then we're going to press SX and make it a little wider here. And we're just going to press E to extrude. And there. Okay, so now is a good time to add a subsurface, subdivision surface modifier. I, I still like to call it subsurface. Select everything with A, press W, and let's go to Shade Smooth to give it some smooth shading. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to select this face here. Let's get rid of this uh, the transformer widget here. Just deselect it there. But let's select that face. Then we'll press E to extrude. Move it over like this. Let's press R to rotate. Grab, and we're gonna make a spiral uh, type thing. We're gonna press E again. R to rotate. And let's go into get out of perspective mode and go into orthographic by pressing five on the numpad. Okay. So right there. That's good. E to extrude again, rotate it. Uh, let's go ahead and scale it down a little bit. E to extrude, rotate, grab. E to extrude, rotate. E to extrude, rotate it. Okay, scale it down a little bit more. E to extrude, rotate. E and to rotate it just in case you don't know is R. Okay, and now we're gonna take these two. Let's go ahead and press Alt S. Just shrink them down a small bit, and then we'll go ahead and take these two faces here. Press Alt S and scale these down as well. As well as these two. They seem just a little a little bit too thick. Let's press O to turn on uh the the proportional editing. Sorry, I forgot what it was called for a second. And then we'll just uh, scale up with our mouse wheel here. So get a nice even density. You can just use the scale button now. And I think that looks okay. So now, uh, first of all, if we go ahead and look here, we can see that it's not sharp enough here, and the blade doesn't even look like anything at this point. So let's go ahead and press Control R left click and we'll drag it down to the bottom there we'll do the same thing here drag it up around there okay that makes it look a lot better so now let's press control R here on this uh, edge loop here and we'll go ahead and scale it up uh, add another one by either pressing plus or by scrolling up with your mouse wheel and then we'll left click and now we've got that right there um, actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and add these side edge loops that I want here. So let's press Control R, 
left click, bring it over to the side here, and control R, left click over to this side so we have it nice and sharp. Now let's press control R, mouse wheel up, and add it right there. Then you want to press E again, and then you want to press Alt S. Oops, turn off proportional editing by pressing O, and then you just want to scale it out like so. And then what you want to do here is going to make this a little sharper. So by just adding this, uh, the edge sliding in this version of Blender is really kind of hard to get used to because it's uh, a little bit inaccurate. You don't know which edge you're sliding on. Uh, come on. Sorry, I just got to get it right. There, that's fine. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and select this by pressing C for our circular uh, selections. And press Alt-C here if you select too many. And right click to cancel out the circular selection there. There we have that. Okay, so. Uh, if you think this is too thick, we can just go ahead and uh, change that here because I think it's a little too thick. Well, let's ho just hold Control and left click and drag around the selection that we want. Okay, let's press S Y and just scale that in. Actually, let's select this here as well. There, that's much better. Okay, so actually, let's uh, also on the Z axis just a little bit and rotate it also. So actually, another rotation is actually kind of it's a little. It's not exactly how I would like it. Oops, I extruded on accident. Okay, now we can go ahead and select some of these edge loops here and uh, make them a little more circular as we want them to. And uh, generally, you want to clean, uh, keep nice and clean topology, but uh, because we are doing an in uh, inorganic model, which means it will not be animated. You don't really have to worry about it that much. So we have a, an overlapping vertice here. So let's just go ahead and drag this on the y-axis until it's where it should be. And let's see if we have that on the other side. Yes, we do. Uh, yeah, just drag it on the y-axis there. So let's go ahead and check it out. And we're looking pretty good. So um, let's see what we want to do here. Let's go ahead and select this edge loop here. I'm going to turn on back face occlusion, which means we can't see behind um, the vertices that we are right here unless we go into wireframe. So let's go ahead and select this and just bring this down to right about there. And then we're going to add a loop cut here, bring that right there. Okay, let's bring these loops a little bit up. And then we're going to add one more loop here so that can be a little sharper. And the reason I added these is because we're going to add a indentions there's going to be one a little one here a little one here and then the major one here okay so another thing i want to do select this here to extrude okay uh, because we have back face occlusion on gotta go into wireframe mode to do this so now we can just press e to extrude right about there let's just turn back face uh, back face occlusion off for now so now i want to select this bottom part here and let's go ahead and extrude it press e to extrude and now we have this weird extrusion extrusion so let's press uh, S and then we'll press shift Z to exclude the Z axis in our extrusion in our extrusion that seems about good and we'll press S X right on there and then uh, it's actually gonna be a little smaller we can actually bring this loop here GZ down a little bit just to give it a better effect and then we'll go ahead and add a loop cut so we'll add one right here make that kind of sharp Add one here, and one more here. And if you want to, which I think we do, yeah, we're going to add one more right there. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and save this. File, save as. Uh, I'm just going to put this in my Blender Tutorials file. And let's go ahead and call this uh, Majestic Sword. Okay, I'll save the Blender file, 
And okay, that's enough for this tutorial, and in the next tutorial we will continue. Okay, thanks. Bye.